Hi guys, welcome back to Casually Crafted. Um, today I was just going to talk about my uh, May goals and see how I did with those and then um, talk about my June goals. Um, I'm kind of in a weird spot. I didn't feel like setting up my camera how I normally do so I'm just sitting on the stairs where I normally record. So, um, And I just put my kids in bed and they keep coming out so hopefully I'm not interrupted too many times. Um, so May, um, I always forget how busy May is for her family. Um, so first we have usually towards the beginning of the month, um, we're working on Mother's Day and like teacher appreciation gifts and that sort of thing. And then, um, the last week of the month into June, um, is my husband's birthday. And then a few days later is our anniversary. And then a few days later, it's my daughter's birthday. So it's actually her birthday tomorrow. And then we're usually trying to do Father's Day gifts also. So May through June, I get a little busy and overwhelmed sometimes. So you'll see I didn't get all of my goals done again. <laughs> but at least they're written down and so I know what I still want to work on. Um, so to start, I did do the crochet alongs I wanted to do. The mile a minute strip and the birthstone square and I showed those in my last video um, and I also joined the spook your spring crochet along and I made that corner to corner banner um, so those are done um, the second one was to work on my diamond painting so I have a nativity diamond painting that I'm making for my grandma and I did do one section of that um, I made the mistake of like letting the painting go to like off the side of the table and I leaned against it and a bunch of the diamonds started falling off and so I had to fix that and I was getting all frustrated but now I know just to turn it around <laughs> and do it upside down if I can't reach where I'm at very well. Um, number three was Father's Day gifts. Um, so for my dad, from my girls, and from me. So I finished the tie from me and then we made a little square wood cube from the dollar store. We put pictures on each side. Um, so that'll be kind of from my girls. So there's like a picture of each girl. So it has six sides, right? It's a cube. So um, three girls each have a picture of them and then a picture of like them with my dad. Um, so that's what we did for that. Um, goal number four was a swimsuit cover. And I showed in my last video that I started um, a bag o' day top that I'm going to frog and then I started the poncho. So I haven't worked on that this week, but I'll get to it. Um, number five is craft fair items, necklaces, headbands, scrunchies, and, and the flower clips. So I mostly did headbands and the flowers and a few necklaces. Um, I haven't done any scrunchies yet because I was waiting on getting the yarn, which I did get, um, but that's going to be a priority for this next month. Um, number six says Ellie canvases. Oh, hang on a second. Okay. Number six <laughs> says Ellie canvases. So the letters of my baby's name, I have not worked on those. Um, still just the letter R is basically done. <laughs> Uh, number seven is towel toppers. I did work on two of those. I still need to finish those. Um, putting the buttons on and weaving it in. Um, number nine is anniversary gift. So it was just our anniversary the other day. Um, and I always like to give um, a cheesy like gift basket for my husband. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something that I started a few years ago. And... I just, I come up with like a theme and then buy a whole bunch of stuff that goes with that theme and like a funny saying. Um, so this year I did a pickle theme. <laughs> so maybe I'll, I took like a not great picture of it, but I, I said 12 years is a big dill, like D-I-L-L -L for dill pickle. And then, so everything in there is it's all snacks. I mean, sometimes I do things that aren't food, but it's mostly food um, of dill pickle flavored things. Um, so I did that. Um, number 10 was faces for Josie's birthday banner. 
Um, so I did that right at the beginning of May. I picked the pictures uh, off of my computer. Um, I needed 11 pictures and I always print out extra um, because sometimes you can't tell how the print quality is going to be until you print it. Um, so I picked them out at the beginning of the month, got them all ready to print, and then um, I got them printed at the end of the month. And so we used her banner at her birthday party on Friday. And today, yes, that was yesterday. <laughs> today is Saturday, uh, June 5th. And then we have it hanging up in our living room for right now until sometime after her birthday tomorrow. Um, and then the very last one was to start um, the baby's temperature blanket. So I make a, I've made a temperature blanket for my other two girls for the year, like their first year of being alive. So from their birth to their first birthday. Um, and so I've been keeping track of temperatures. I have the colors all picked out. Um, what I wanted to do was um, after doing my base row, like weigh that and then do a day and then weigh that to see how many grams each day will take so I have an idea of how much yarn of each color I'll need. Um, I didn't start that in May because it's not really a, a thing that has to get done at any specific time. Um, so because I was busy with all the other stuff that goes on, um, I put that aside for this month. So now on to goals for June, which they're all going to basically be the same <laughs> from May. Um, so mile a minute strip, um, I actually just started this yesterday, so I already finished the center and I just need to do the border. So the center, it only took me about an hour. It was a really fast one. Um, the birthstone mal I need to do, um, I haven't quite decided what colors I want to do for the pearl. I think I'm going to do, I found a gray that I have in my stash that's kind of got a sheen to it, so I might do that. Um, then number two, I have finished baby blanket. So um, I haven't showed this in a little while. I've been working on a, a moss stitch blanket, but I'm making it in triangles. I keep itching everywhere. Um, so it's like a moss stitch triangle and then I'm making four of them and I'm going to combine them and then probably do some sort of border after it's all combined. So I actually, I just finished the, my fourth triangle. So I just need to combine it, join it, I guess is the proper phrase, join the triangles and then um, add the border. So her baby isn't due till... Um, July 31st, but I would like to get that to her by the end of this month. Um, number three is the swimsuit cover slash poncho, since I've decided on that. Um, that might be like my park project. Uh, we go to parks in like the splash pad a lot in the summer, and if it's just our family, um, oh, I, I like to bring something to work on. Um, or at least last summer I did. It's with the baby, it's a little bit harder because she kind of needs more attention than when she was just in the belly. Um, but I'm going to try to have that probably be my park project for this month. Um, number four is craft fair items. So this month I'm going to concentrate on more necklaces because I only got a few done in May. Um, scrunchies and then um, things to display. So I'm making... Um, like my mom helped me build like a stand for the pegboard, um, but I need to paint that and then I'm making like little stands to display the scrunchies um, and headbands. So I need to put all those together. Um, number five says start temperature blanket and I did this yesterday. So after um, we had my daughter's birthday party at the splash park and it was like 90 some degrees and it doesn't usually get that hot here. And so we were all kind of pooped <laughs> afterwards. So um, we pretty much didn't do anything. I didn't feel like doing any chores around the house. So I just decided to start that. Um, so I did the base row and I did the first actual row of days. Um, but then that's as far as I went because I was going to need to change color. And I am not ready to quite like 
dive into it all the way. Um, I need to like pick a bag to put it in and get it all ready to go. But um, number six is Patriotic Banner. So um, there's like a half doily type banner I want to make that's crochet. Um, and they just used white. It was like a Valentine's Day one. Um, but I want to change it to like red, white, and blue. Um, and have that done by the 4th of July, hopefully. Um, number seven, I almost forgot to put on here the uh, Nativity Diamond Painting. I have to do the next section of that. Um, number eight is one Ellie Canvas. <laughs> so I, want, I haven't decided which letter I want to do, but I do want to get one of her letters done. And then number nine says one to two towel toppers. So that probably just means one towel doing the toppers. Like if, if I do like a one where you split it in half, do the toppers for both of those. And then number 10 is a baby sun hat. And I actually already did this. So I, I made these goals a few days ago. And then Thursday I made this baby sun hat. So I... Don't have it here to show you right now and it's a little too big for her head but oh well i have a hard time with kids hats i always make them either too big or too small um but yeah so that one's done yay <laughs> um that is all i'm sure i'm forgetting something that i want to work on but i mean summer we're like sometimes we're really busy sometimes we have like nothing going on so um I'm trying not to add too much more than what's just what I have to get done, especially for getting ready for the farmer's market that starts in July. Um, so most of these are just repeat goals and then a few added little things here and there that I want to get done. And yeah, so that is all for May and June. And at the end of June, we'll see how well I did. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and show you how I am doing my um, necklaces and stuff. Like, so, sorry. Um, I used to have a hard time getting necklaces done because in my head they take up a lot of time. And then I r was realizing and thinking that they weren't, like, very portable to take with me anywhere. Um, and I realized that the only part that that's true is um, just getting all the beads on the string. Um, so what I started doing was, so I have all these um, empty butter containers. And um, I just finished three different necklaces and then I found another container. So I'm going to have four. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to get four necklaces started. So put all the beads um, here's my beads on the string with my beading needle here. Sorry, my table's weird. Um, and then once they're all on the string, I'll just put, put everything in here and I can just grab it and go sit on the couch, grab it and take it to the park or whatever we need to do. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. And so once all four are ready to go, Whichever one I feel like working on at the time, I'll just grab and get working on. And um, I feel like this has helped me a little bit, get them done a little bit faster. Um, just to do all the beading all at once. And then just having them there ready to go really helps me. If I really wanted to do one, I'd be like, oh, well, I have to go put the beads on. And that's going to take forever. And now I don't have any excuses. So... <laughs> Um, I'll probably pop this in in some video somewhere. I don't really know. Um, yeah, just thought I would show what I was working on real quick. Bye, guys.